the candle in the center lit up. <laughs> I just blew out Jesus. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel for a very British Christmas. Today, I'm holding something that you may have never seen before if you're not from a country that uses Chris Stingles in church services around the holidays. I know being from the States, I had no idea what this was, um, and it does look a little otherworldly at first glance. It's actually a Christian tradition, especially celebrated in the UK, Chris Stingle meaning the light of Christ. Each segment of the Chris Stingle represents something different, which I'll go into later in the video. But first things first, I'm going to tell you what you need to make a Chris Dingle, and then we're going to make one together. So here's what you're gonna need. You are going to need one large orange, um, a taper candle, so quite a long candle, some toothpicks, some red ribbon, some kitchen foil or aluminum foil, a knife, and some little candies or sweet treats. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our orange, and I've just got some scissors to help me get into my packaging. It's quite a substantial large orange because it's going to need to hold a candle as well as toothpicks and lots of other things. It's not really going to work with a small tangerine, though you could try. So I've got my orange, and now I need a square of aluminum foil, about three inches by three inches. I'm just going to eyeball it slightly. It's just there to catch the wax from the candle. Okay. So I've got my square foil and I've got my orange. Now I want to cut a small cross in the top of the orange. So if you're doing this with kids, be very careful. And then I'm going to wedge my foil into it. So I'm just gonna start at the top here, cut myself basically across, and this is where we're going to stick the candle into. Okay, so I've done a cross in the top and I'm going to take my foil and put the foil on top, kind of shove it in, just like this. Now I'm going to take one candle and I'm going to shove the candle in the hole I just cut in the orange on top of the foil. There we go, just like that. You might need something to help you stand it up. I'm just gonna see if I can rest it against these candles. There we go. Next, I need four toothpicks or cocktail sticks as they're known in the UK. So I've got four of these and I'm going to load them up with some soft candies. You could also use things like raisins or dried fruits as long as you can get the toothpick through it. So that's one and I'm gonna do three more. There we go, I've got four toothpicks loaded with candy ready to go. But before I stick them on, I'm going to go ahead and take my red ribbon and the red ribbon is going to go all the way around the orange so I'm going to cut a piece big enough to fit around the orange.
Now it's time to put our toothpicks with our candies into the orange and I'm going to do them equidistant from each other around the base of the candle, kind of coming out like this. So we'll do one on this side, one on this side, and keep going around until it looks something like this. So this is actually our completed Chris single. I'm going to go ahead and light it and then I'll talk about what each thing represents. And if you're a kid, make sure you have your parents help you with this. And let's see if you can see it glowing. So here we have our finished Chris Stingle. Now, again, these are used in church services for the Chris Stingle service and each part of what we've made represents something. So our orange is going to represent the world. The red ribbon is going to represent the blood of Jesus. Each of these cocktail or toothpicks with fruit represents both the four seasons as well as the fruit of the world. The foil is so we don't burn our hands from the wax of the candle, and the candle itself lit up represents Jesus or the light of the world, which is the candle onto the orange. They're typically made in a church service around Christmas time in the UK. It's typically a family service where they really encourage the kids to participate, and it stems from an old custom where kids were given candles on Christmas Eve to signify the light of Christ. I hope you've enjoyed making a Chris Stingle with me today, especially if you've never made one before. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about UK Christmas customs as well as other British recipes or information about living in the UK, definitely make sure to subscribe to the Girl Gone London channel so you get notified about future videos. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.